I kind of want to know Squidward. The audience, if you really want to get a lady in the mood, then some of these, and maybe some of these, and maybe some of these. You're welcome. It's a giraffe! Earl doesn't appear in enough episodes. The whiny teen trope works coolly dim-witted antics. If I had to name the single most important, important thing SpongeBob has taught Bob has taught me, it's when in doubt, chips in a bottle. And to this day, haven't been able to find the SS Fancy. Haven't been able to find the SS Fancy. The crabs having hearts in his eyes instead of dollar dollar signs for once is just a joy to look at. Many people don't know this, but this is actually the English version of the Italian ballad Not Ballo Italiano. The third Mr. Crab centered episode in a row. This one. Sorry. I'll admit, this one's a bit of SpongeBob. An all around funny episode. I'm glad they didn't pass off Patrick as a jealous dumbass in the end. He didn't once manage to pass his exam. Your age. Yes. Famous. And buy myself a really expensive astronaut get up to cosplay as Sandy on Halloween. Buy myself a really expensive astronaut get up to cosplay. Look, it's McDonald's back in October. Squid. This is one of the yuck problem if what is happening was more interesting, but they really don't do a lot with the cons, just not all that rewatchable. See, up also comes with the realization that to forget about this one whenever I'm trying to think of all the seasons. One of the more gag centered episodes, but not one of the most iconic. Can't control characters just for the sake of being mean, just done. The episode that started the trend of Mr. Krabs just being overly money hungry at times. He got some really great episodes in the second season. Not all that exciting first episode to go along with them. Season one. Have you ever noticed salt shakers? I swear to it all go! Here, all of his segments were nothing more than filler. And it's to be a minute long. I guess the intent behind the episode was to be a final result. Don't trust Mr. Krabs. Don't leave the bird. It's a really good game to go along with. This marks the second time in the series Penny in the shower, and it's just as good if not better than them. They really enjoy making Mrs. Puff go insane, don't they? I knew I could take it. <laughs> One of the weak character introductions. However, it's also the birth of some might say this episode is stereotypical to <laughs> is such an under So it is also the most frustratingly stupid Spongebob has ever. Thanks to this episode, we got a Yoshi clone in Battle for Second One. Thanks to this episode, we got a Yoshi clone in Battle for Bikini Bottom on the GBA. That's reason enough to like a twist. A disturbing episode for any six-year-old. Andy's song was my ringtone in fifth grade. I'd like to invite you to my birthday party tomorrow. That sounds great, man. My ringtone in fifth grade. The easiest SpongeBob has ever been, so definitely better than Disneyland. <laughs> the montage of them catching the jellyfish is fun. The mediocre episode. Hello, Michael here. Now you look at this head. Any wonder people are afraid of technology. SpongeBob has ever been, so definitely better than Disneyland. <laughs> is it Disneyland? <laughs> is it any wonder? Get back in your exoskeleton! What? Wonder people are afraid of technology. Technology! 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 technology. Wait, no. okay. Gets me every time. Me every time. The montage of them catching the jellyfish is fun, but it's just a very mediocre episode otherwise. Didn't you promise to clean up this room yesterday? <laughs> you can't leave toys lying around. Whoa. Hey guys. Look at this hat and Hello, tell sunshine. me with a straight face that Spongebob Game didn't Warzone. know about Christmas back in season one. Um, I about it. Yes, I'll be your girlfriend. Uh, There's my childhood. I continue to oh, trying to think of all the season two episodes. Yeah. Characters being mean to other characters. Die, please. This episode does have one.